and this is definitely an experience too as americans one thing we gotta get used to or as anyone from any part of the world except australia and the uk and i think new zealand is driving on the right side not only are you driving on the right side but on the roads you go on the left so it takes a while for your brain to like you know adjust because we've been trained uh different ways you know the opposite of that so yeah so so far so good but yeah get used to, you you got to get used to that man so and be aware that when you come to the to the uk or australia or whatever you're gonna have to get used to this man look where the steering wheel is at look at that and look that's where it usually is everything is on this side like I came in and I tried to turn it on from right there and that was uh, not the button. The button's over here. Look, this is on your left hand side. Um, so it's just uh, a different experience. But yeah, let's go. Well, you guys want to see what the result, the end result of driving on the opposite side of the road and on the opposite side of the car where everything's on the right instead of the left. Where all my Americans in the UK at? Because look, I know, I know for a fact you had to deal with this. I know I am not the only one that's had to deal with a flat tire because you bump into something like a rock in this uh, occasion. So, yep. So I don't know if you guys saw my short, but yeah, where the tire popped. Um, today is our anniversary and we've been here waiting three hours. It's about six o'clock right now. We have an ETA of 9 p.m. to get here. I can sit here and complain about UK response times. Um, messed up the Europe car didn't provide a spare tire or anything to change a tire with so we have to wait on this ridiculous um we have to wait this ridiculous amount of time for someone to come and i could have easily been frustrated i'm sure any of you guys would have been especially on your anniversary with a pop tire and your hands being tied as far as what you can and cannot do and um, my wife's crying, you know, she's and I understand and I comforted her as much as I could. And that's when we just relied on, on God and the Holy Spirit. We decided to pray. Um, we read scripture and we both feel better. And I don't know why God wants me to be here, but here I am trying to make the best of it. It's in nature. It's beautiful. We're literally like in the middle of nowhere with a pop tire. Um, no reception, guys. I have no reception. My wife has choppy reception, so we have to go to different places to um, try and get a call. And the calls are often dropped. So we've been communicating with them back and forth uh, with drop calls. Super frustrating experience here in Wales. Um, but we're making the best of it. This is me making the best of it. I'm gonna find somewhere quiet, possibly right here. I'm gonna listen to the birds. I'm gonna meditate. I'm gonna call on the Holy Spirit. I'm gonna worship. I'm gonna worship the Lord loud, <laughs> loud and uh, clear. And I feel good, man. I really feel good. I feel blessed to be able to be here and um, I still don't know why I'm supposed to be here right now or why this happened but I kind of have a feeling that God wants me to, to sit here and meditate so that's exactly what I'm going to do so just wanted to share this with you guys because I know you guys go through rough patches in your life and literally stopping what you're doing you know like how the Lord says be still Oh, I will be still and know that you are a God. 
I will be still and know that you are God. That is a beautiful feeling. So I'm going to be doing a lot of that for, I guess, the next three hours because that's the ETA. So be still, guys. Call on the Holy Spirit. Wait for the answer. Let him guide you. And then act. Five hours later, guys, and still waiting for the tow truck. Trying to make the best of a, of a bad situation. So, we come here in this serene beauty. I'm not going to talk smack about the... See? See what nature does to you? Just took away all the negative thoughts. I'm so glad I came here. And if you guys saw my video from uh, the caves that I was in earlier, uh, if not, I'll try to provide a link for it, but I think this is the water that I was hearing because it's not too far from here. And as you can see, um, it's free flowing and I was deep in that cave. My fear was that a bunch of water like this was just gonna come and start uh, drowning me or at least soaking me up. Beautiful guys, beautiful. This is what I'm talking about right here, big baby, look at this. This is what I live for. Hey, how can you be upset? Even, uh, you know, I mean, how could you be upset? Even, even considering the circumstances. Look at this. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord of Jesus. For the beauty you have bestowed upon me right here. Look at this. Beautiful. Man, I wish I would have came here earlier in the day. I, want, I might have taken a dip. Secluded. Look, not many. I mean, there's no one here right now. But. Man, I would have taken a dip. Oh, man, I would have taken a dip. I need it, too. You live and you learn, guys. You live and you learn. So. head back up hopefully the tow truck is here yet hopefully it's here already warning the deep water in this cave is dangerous and may and many people have drowned I would have still gone in there fun fact I do not know how to swim and you guys still see me deep in um, islands, you know, deep in uh, lakes. Sure, sometimes I wear a life vest, but I still go in. I can float. I mean, I can float backwards. I can't float forward, like facing down. I can float um, facing up, so on my back. And also... Um, I can swim underwater, but only like to get to a point of safety. Safety for me is where my feet can touch the ground and my head is still elevated. And I'm 5'10", so it's not that deep. <clears throat> I'm 
room. I'm gonna show you guys what happened to our Mercedes. <laughs> this is how we're living, guys. We've literally been here, stranded. for over five hours on our anniversary with no help in a national park here in South Wales. Worst customer service ever. I don't, can you stay on Trap. the phone, can you stay on the phone with me? Oh, I, I see Just it. seven oh. hours, man, seven hours. Seven hours, you're stuck on the road. UK, worst customer service ever, know. man. There's a car, but I don't know. I mean, I can't move. So here I am on my anniversary, riding on top of a tow truck. I know you guys can see, but literally the tow truck's right behind me. I decided to stay in the car. I didn't want to go with the tow truck driver because they arrived seven hours it took them seven hours we got the flat at four and it is now 10 45 it's 10 45 so um yeah trying to see the the good in this but i really don't know what it is right now but i am trusting god Still on top of a damn tow truck in Wales on our anniversary. There's a tow truck riding in it. I refused to uh, go in there with him because of how long he took. I'm trying to see the best in this, but it's difficult. Comment in the comment section what you guys would do in a situation like this. A seven hour wait, no exaggeration. Uh, they treated us terribly, um, but I don't know what to do. And it's Europe car's fault. They contracted this, they contracted these guys. Europe car contracted these guys. And um, yeah, don't go, don't go with Europe car.